Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Haus Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com and today we have a brand new bottle from Edward Dower, the small whiskey distillery in the Scottish Highlands. And this is a Pedro Jimenez cask matured. 100% not finishing, 100% Pedro Jimenez matured and it's priced well above 100 and pay attention it's only a 0.5 liter bottle but it comes with 57.4 ABV so with a dilution to a drinkable strength you will result in 0.7 liters but still a price for a whiskey which is 11 years old but the cask is very rare and that you have a hundred percent Pedro Jimenez cask and not only finishing. This is the straight from the cask series SFTC and this comes with a wooden box uh, but here on the bottle there is a on the label stands final batch of wooden boxes. So if you're a collector of these bottles and like to have those colorful bo uh, boxes uh, on your shelf then be careful this is one of the last uh, coming with these boxes. Um, I think this has something to do with the supply lines which aren't always that stable. Um, this one is distilled on March the 12th, 2011 and is bottled on July the 13th, 2022. The outturn had been 471 bottles and the cask number had been 84. I think in the different parts of the world where Eredau delivers to, uh, there are different casks on the market. Natural color, cask strength, 57.4 ABV and have a look at this wonderful color. This mahogany color shows the Pedro Jimenez as a red wine and the specialty of a Pedro Jimenez in contrast to other sherries like the uh, Oloroso sherry is uh, the, the special fermentation of the wine. We have the typical wine going up to 14-15% ABV and then you're going into your um, cask and uh, after that it's uh, uh, forced up, uh, fortified up to 20% which the sherry typically has. This is the normal way for an Oloroso sherry but the Pedro Jimenez sherry they, are, they stop the fermentation at lower ABVs, not up to 15 maxima, maximum, but at lower so that you have residual sugar in it. And then you put more brandy from those grapes in to uh, fortify it up, to push it up to 20% ABV so that you have residual sugar. And then you have a very sweet sherry. This is typically a Pedro Jimenez. And the second one is that you have a oxidized sherry. So that the yeast is mixed in and does not have a, a covering foam on top where the oxidization of the sherry where you typically have these very white uh, pheno sherries and others uh, which aren't oxidized. Uh, so this one is oxidized and uh, has this residual sugar. So this is very special, very intense. And I have to tell you, I'm very fond of Pedro Jimenez matured whiskies, and this is one of my <laughs> my prey. <laughs> so here we are. No oh, wrong direction. This wonderful color. <sighs> There's nothing about the sweetness of this Pedro Jimenez cask. No. Pedro Jimenez, that's the Spanish uh, version of Peter Siemens. You know this electrical company, Siemens, Peter? Uh, no, this has nothing to do with the electric company. Uh, I think it has been a physician uh, who immigrated to Spain and then his name Siemens was transferred into Jimenez. 18th century something. Massive, 
deep, vanilla, strong cask, lightly mm, plums. Sweet dates, figs, yeah. Now the sweetness is there. But 57.4, nothing for me needs, no. I have to dilute it a little bit. So there are marks in the liquid now. It won't dilute immediately or mix up immediately, giving going into solution. So now with the water, it's m more intense, much more intense, a lot fruitier, a lot more fruity. It's a strong verb, isn't it? Yeah, massive. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Now there's more juice, more sweetness in it. There's a honey note in it. Yeah. But changing over into dryness, not that sweet as I expected for a pyrochemines. Covering my mouth, full impact. I'm down to 45, 46, 47, 48, something there. Yeah, massive. The aftertaste is not that uh, oaky, no bitterness at all. It's just 11 years of maturation and seems that this cask had been an American white oak cask, so not a European cask with its tannins and the massive bitterness and uh, chocolate notes in it, no. There is probably a little bit of, of a nutty note in it, yeah. So, really good. Mm -hmm. I like that very much. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.